everybody. I'm Miss Lisa. I'm Ashley. And we're here to talk to you today about bones. bones. We all have them. There are 206 bones in the adult human body. But today we're going to specifically talk to you about some animal bones, as you can see right here in front of us. Have you ever thought about what you would look like if you didn't have any bones at all? It wouldn't be pretty. No, we would just be a big pile of skin. It'd be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Mushy. Mushy and weird, yeah. And if you want to find out more about that, you should check out this book, Bone by Bone. This is a really neat book that talks about what you would look like if you didn't have any bones, or what you would look like if you had bones of certain animals. Like, what if you had uh, bones, your spine didn't stop at your backbone where it does, but just kept going out. You would have a tail. Or what if your neck had many, many vertebrae instead of how many we have right here? You would be have a big long neck like a giraffe. Or what if you had no arms and legs and all you had was backbones and ribs? What a would you do? Snake. A snake. A snake. That's right. So this is a really fun book to read if you want to see what you might look like if you had different body parts. But today we're going to talk about some animals here that we have in front of us. And we're going to just going to show you a few things about these animals that you can tell by looking at their bones. Okay? And these bones belong to Ashley. She found these and collected them. In the woods. She found them out in the woods and collected them. Uh, sometimes you might be hiking and you might find some bones. And you can tell a few things about an animal just by looking at some of their parts. Okay? So we're going to show you just a couple of interesting things about these guys. Okay? Uh, can you guess what this belongs to? Anybody guess? Look how big it is. Look at this. What does it look like? Does it look like, oh, look at here. I bet, I bet you can tell exactly what this is. Look here, what, what are those? Teeth. Teeth. Look here. What would go there? Eyeballs. Eyes. Yes. And down here would be his nose. And then if you look through here, where do you think the brain would be in this animal? Let's see, where do you think it would go? Maybe in that tiny little circle. Right in there. Okay, look how big this head is. And do you see that tiny little place there where the brain would go? Weird, huh? So what animal is this? Actually, what is it? It's a cow. This is a cow. Now, I told you we could tell some things looking at this cow. Like one thing you can tell by looking at bones is what this animal likes to eat. Look at his teeth. Look at the teeth. They're kind of flat. Look at there. They're not really sharp. They're kind of flat. So an animal that has teeth like this probably is going to be an animal that eats vegetation and grass. Herbivore. A herbivore. Yes. Okay, I'm going to put this back down very carefully. Okay. All right. This, this piece here, can you guess what this is? This is a jaw. Jaw bone. A jaw bone. <laughs> and again, look at the teeth. See how flat they are? This is the jaw bone of a cow. That's a big jaw bone. Look at that. <laughs> okay. I'll let it. And here's some more cow bones. Not the entire skeleton, but close. Actually talk about this next one. This one. <laughs> what do you think it is? That's a deer. Yeah, it's pretty easy to tell with those antlers there. And this one has a tiny opening where its brain goes. It must be like this big. It's a tiny brain. And its teeth like the cows. They're kind of flat. So again, this one's an herbivore too. Cool. It's missing its nose, but it's yeah. in there. It's really neat to look at the cow and the deer and look how their eyes are. Look at our eyes. Our eyes are like straight in front. 
we look straight ahead. But look how their eyes are off on the sides like this. Isn't that wild? Look at that. Can you see his ear? I, I think that might be the ear canal, yeah. Yeah. I wonder on the cow, it's probably like right through here, some right here, probably. Cool. Okay. All right. Now, this skull is a little different. Erica, you may have to move in a little closer to show this one. Very close. I don't know. Should you come closer? Does it matter? Let's zoom in. This one is a raccoon skull. This one has much sharper teeth and a tiny little opening for the brain, so it's very small. And this is its jaw. This attaches right there. And you can see it has very pointy teeth. So if something has pointy teeth as opposed to these flat teeth here, what do you think they would eat? A meat eater. I bet it's a meat eater, yeah. I think raccoons kind of eat everything, don't they? I think so. Yeah. Interesting about the raccoon. Look at it. Look at its eyes. They're they're a little different. They're more toward the front here. Oh, they are. Look at his eyes. Can you real see the ears? Yeah. Front facing eyes. That's pretty cool. I'm just amazed at how tiny their little brains must be. And they're really intelligent, so they are kind of weird. Okay. And then the last one is so tiny that you, yeah, do you see, you, you see, see them right here? Now. And these, what do you think these belong to? Mice. Very, very tiny mice. Look how little the little heads are. Oh my goodness. And they still have their teeth. And these are their little jaw bones. And they have pointy teeth. Oh my goodness. And look how tiny, so fragile looking. And here we have more bones of it. Like this is its rib. This is the shoulder blade. And the pelvis and the tibula. And I don't know what the other bones are. Wow, that's pretty cool. Look how tiny. But even a tiny mouse has a skeleton, just like, just like we do, just like the cow. And if you find any bones outside, make sure to bring them to an adult so they can properly clean them very well. Yes. We don't want to get sick. Yes. Um, we have another book that Ashley's going to show that it's just called Bones. And it shows not only human bones, but it shows all kinds of different animal skeletons. So if you want to learn more about uh, animal bones, you can look in this book. And it compares some, it compares different kinds of hands, different kinds of feet, different legs, finger bones, different fingers. Uh, it's just a really informative book. We have that here at the library. Uh, so if you're interested in either one of these books, just give us a call, we can check them out. Uh, and we're gonna uh, just do you know close up so some of these bones so you can sort of see. And you know that if you look at the bone, 
right here. You can sort of see it on this one. Um, right here. You see that? Bones are not just solid, hard all the way through. They have this spongy stuff in the middle of them. That's where our bone marrow is. Oh. See? I wondered what that was. Yeah. So if, you, if, if this bone were broken, you, like, we're not going to, you know. But you can see here where it's worn off a little. That's where, the, you know, bones are not solid white all the way through. They have this kind of a weird appearance right here. That's where the bone marrow is. The bone marrow is a spongy material inside your bones that creates your blood cells. So. Bones outside of your body. Teeth. Oh, teeth. <laughs> yeah. Teeth. <laughs> yeah, those, those are the bones that are not covered up <laughs> by your skin. They are here. Pretty cool. All right. Anyway, um, you can learn more about bones by checking out some of these books that we have at the library or by going online. There are lots of websites where you can look up stuff about skeletons and bones. Or if you're like Ashley and you're out hiking and you find a, a cool bone that you want to bring home, uh, you can, like she said, make sure you show it to an adult. Make sure that you clean it really well. Uh, you don't want any uh, bacteria or anything on it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, again, you know, if you want to check out one of the books, give us a call. We'd love to find some things for you. And get out there and into nature and look around and see what you can find. See if you can learn more things. <laughs>